What's up everybody, Zinigami here. We're gonna go through two of the islands on Japan. We're gonna go through the 20 stamina Heracles, I mean, 20 stamina Fat Usopp and a 30, 40 stamina Heracles. And wow, it's hard to talk today. This is the team I'm using. Because we have had a lot of requests for me to show who I'm using before we go into islands. Now this is Fat Usopp, 20 stamina that we're doing first. It's really, really easy. In fact, you don't even need to stall on any of this stuff. If you're using uh, the hardest part about this island is just getting through uh, probably just stage 4. The phase, stage 4 yellow dude has a lot of hit points. You don't even need to saw, I'm just gonna power it through really really quickly to show you exactly how easy it is. Get past this one. You could stall on these guys, you could stall on the lobsters, you could stall on the turtles. But you don't even need to try. Do, 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 do. I guess I'll end up stalling because I'm missing my perfects. So you notice the first stage is always going to be a seahorsey with two minions. The second stage is going to be four fodder guys. The third stage is going to be these three, uh, four units. A lobster and a teenage turtle and two baby turtles. The fourth stage will actually be Usopp again, he'll run away. I'm sorry, Usopp, this uh, fourth stage Usopp doesn't run away. Fourth stage Usopp will actually put up his uh, armor protection so he can't be killed. There you go. So you can't kill Usopp for two turns. The auto target will want to make you kill Usopp, so just pick someone else to take out first and hit everyone else for two turns and then go back and kill Usopp himself. Doesn't matter what percent he's at, just take out everyone else first. So he does an entire 320 damage, so you gotta tank that for two whole turns. And that buff right there, if you haven't seen it before, means they can't be killed. And once you kill him, then he goes down. Stage 5 does a preemptive lock of both your captains for three turns. Uh, normally that's a little dangerous, but these guys have such low health, I can even still take him out just with a couple attacks. Uh, while you're here, you might as well not go past the stage. If you do clear the stage, you're still not going to be in trouble. You might as well take all three turns, even if you can clear the stage early. Now what you can do is, if you want to just run through this island really quickly, uh, they've got very great suggestions to just use a full body. You can bring a full body for the, the next stage right here. This guy has this guy in the middle has a ton of armor. So all the guys around him will fall no problem. Oops. Alright, it's a problem if you miss your attacks. All these guys are on the outside fall no problem. And then he has a lot of armor. So I might be able to get through. I actually did not bother to check if I could get through or not. He's got uh, about 50 health, I want to say, and a really high amount of armor. So if you bring full body, you can just use full body and clear him away just like you would a turtle. Other than that, just hit him until he's dead. Now, Fat Usopp's going to be next. Fat Usopp is going to do a preemptive attack. Um, 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 um. Small preemptive attack, and then this attack is what's uh, the next one that freaks people out, is that he'll do 70% of your health and damage. And after that, he ha can't be killed for 4 turns, so all you do is just hit him for 4 turns. Doesn't matter what percent he's at, he just does 70% health on you, and then he stalls for 13 turns. So if somehow you can't kill him in 13 turns, then you'll have difficulties with the island, but once again, it's really, really easy. All you gotta do is wait for the baby. Ba-boom, 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 two more turns, one more turn, and then down goes Fat Usopp. Yay! Uh, you can get any of Usopp's skill books from this island, which is really great if you get yourself some Golden Pound Usopp skill books. Um, and you also get Fat Usopp himself. Fat Usopp is alright. Uh, he gives you, he 
gives you extra food recovery as a captain. It gives you extra hit points to side characters. Um, and his special gets rid of your food orbs and gives you a damage boost. But he's really just not as good as Golden Kong Usopp and Impact Out Usopp, so you're almost never going to use him. And then there's the 40 Stamina Heracles and Island. The 40 Stamina Heracles and Island, of course, gets you Heracles. And Heracles is a side character. has a very interesting orb manipulation ability. Uh, what he does is that he gives you uh, orbs on specific slots. So you want to take out the... Oops, not you. You want to take out the Pirate Penguin and the Praying Mantis first. If you want, you could also, uh, you can stall on the pig, and I'm, I am going to stall on the pig because I'm going to need to take those extra turns with my team that I'm using right now. That should take it out. The pig will actually heal kind of hard. The pig will heal for, I uh, hit for 3,700. But since I am using a really team, I have a lot of healing to do. Or a lot of healing available to me. Boom, 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 boom. And Heracles and Island, you got a pretty good shot of food all over the place here. Bam, 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 bam. I want to stall for probably uh, four more turns on here, if at, if at all possible. Now, the reason, let's go through why I'm bringing people. I'm bringing Frankie for his orb boosting. Uh, I'm bringing Mr. Three for the first turn of Heracles. In. And I'm bringing Usopp for immediately after that. Ooh, oops. Alright, we'll just heal up. The pig's not going to last that long anyways. Uh, turn 2 with the dinos. You want to take out all the dinos. They don't really hit that hard. Uh, but they do, do attack every turn, so it's not as good to stall on these guys as the rest. Just take out the dinos. You, the dinos either have a 1 turn or 2 turn or a 2 turn or a 3 turn cooldown on the dinos. Take these out, take this out. The next turn is a turn that most teams will stall a lot on, because the next turn is the uh, the turtles and the lobster. The turtles and lobster, they hit decently hard each, but that's not the hard part. The uh, hard part is the turn after that, they will heal you, they'll give you all food orbs, but you gotta really watch out, because we'll have the seahorses and the crab right after this one. All right, so here we go. Uh, a shorter cooldown than I'd like on these guys. I'm going to kill two of these right away. Gonna kill the lobster before he hits me. Well, let's actually take out uh, one turtle and one lobster and leave these two to uh, get hit by. So while I'm doing this, of course, you want to look for food orbs. I'm gonna try to take out the lobster next turn. Good. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'm not too concerned about how much damage I'm taking right now. I'm gonna kill out off this one. If I get food, I'm gonna stall for even longer on the next turtle. Otherwise, I'm just gonna let kill it during the next turtle. All right, turtle. No food. I have eight turns, seven turns. I need to stall for, actually, probably need to just take this attack here and stall these extra three turns. Cause I want to have Rayleigh specials up, available for me whenever I get to uh, Usopp's, I'm not Usopp's, Heracles himself. Perfect. So this stage is going to give you all food orbs right away. Be very careful of the Elder Seahorse. The Elder Seahorse will um, lock one of your characters for six turns. I right, seven turns. And all the other Seahorses will lock a character for one turn each. And the Crab just hits pretty hard. So I'm going to try to kill everyone except for the Crab on this first turn right now. Uh, of course, it's the same as usual where they have high health. I mean, high armor, not that much health. But you have to be careful because, oops. That's exactly what I did not want to do, and I might actually die here, just because of all three attacks. Whoo, yeah. God damn, I suck at this. 
One more. Yeah, turn the sound effects off if you're, if you're having trouble. God, why do I suck so much on this island? What's up, guys? So we're going to do the 40 stamina Heracles in Island. I'm having a difficult time with this island, but shush, don't tell anyone. So the first stage here, you, uh, you want to take out the praying mantis in the back and the penguin. The pig will attack you for about 3,800 or so damage. So you want to try to avoid taking that much damage from the pig, but since I do need to stall a little bit more, I am going to go ahead and hit take some hits from the pig. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to just stall out as slowly as possible. So Heracles and Island has some very interesting stage. Stage 3 and 4 are the most interesting ones, and I'll go ahead and talk about them now while I'm stalling out. Stage 3 gives you uh, a bunch of lobsters and a bunch and a cra- uh, I mean sorry, one lobster and a bunch of turtles. They all hit, you know, decently hard, but the hard part is that they don't have that much health, so you can't stall for that much on them. And the turn after that is one Elder Seahorse, four Teenage uh, Seahorses, and a Crab. That stage, the Elder Seahorse will lock you for seven turns if he attacks. Each of the Teenage Seahorses will lock you for one turn each, and the Crab will just hit really hard. So you want to take out all the guys except for the crab right away, and then take the crab a out after that. Uh, no food orbs, unfortunate. So we'll try, just try to kill the pig as soon as I get to the end of my attacks here. Good. Uh, on the stage two will always be three dinos. You can get different colored dinos, and they'll have anywhere between a one and a three turn cooldown each. I got some pretty easy cooldowns with these dinos here. I can take them out, no problem. And of course, I'm going to looking for food orbs while I'm here. Because uh, my low health, I'm not going to be able to stall as much on the lo on the crabs and lobsters as I want to, unless I get a bunch more food orbs. Doo doo, doo doo. Take them out. Food orbs, nothing. So I'm just gonna try to make sure I get rid of as many orbs as possible to keep looking for food orbs. Hello there green dino. Stage 3, lobsters, and I got a nice long cooldown on the lobster. So I'm gonna try to look for stuff while letting the only the turtle in the back hit me and the lobster hit me just because of how the cooldowns worked out this time. I don't want to let this one hit me because it will hurt. Hmm. Think of how much, how many turns I have to stall. I'll, I'll take. I'm gonna kill, kill the turtle and take hits from the lobster. Oops. I will not be able to take hits from the lobster now. Go ahead and heal up a bit. So this stage, like we said before, is the most interesting in that it has the Elder Seahorse that locked for 7 turns. They give you a preemptive attack that swaps all your orbs to food. I'm going to want to heal up while attacking. And I want to make sure I try to kill all the seahorses. Ah! And I messed up my attack again. So the seahorses will both lock one character for one turn. And they all hit for pretty hard. Seahorse hit for 1,000, so... Oh, 2,700. But I can swap ores while looking at the seahorses. I'm going to need food orb if I'm going to take a hit from a crab. I would love to stall a turn on the crab, but the crab hits for 4,500, so I'm not going to be able to stall on the crab. I just need to move on to the raid boss right now. Boom, boom, and move on to Heracleason. Now Heracleason, what he does is he'll do a preemptive attack, and remember preemptive attacks do reduce your cooldown by one turn. And he will swap all your orbs 
I not, uh, he'll do an orb shuffle, and he'll reduce your chance of getting in orbs and food orbs. The reason I'm bringing Mr. 3 is that on turn 2 he will berserk, so I'm going to use Mr. 3 right away. And I would love to use my Rayleigh to take care of all the guys on the outside. In fact, in fact we can do that. Let's take care of, uh, let's just focus on Heracleason. Because I'm going to, after he berserks, I'll use Golden Pound Usopp, and then I'll be able to use my Rayleigh to take care of all the guys on the outside. Uh, under 20%, you gotta really watch out, because under 20%, Heracleason will actually lock three of your characters for seven turns and then attack as usual. So remember, if you use Golden Pump Usopp first, the Berserking debuff will actually get rid of the stalling, so there's no point in using uh, Golden Pump Usopp right away. If you do so, you'll just be wasting Golden Pump Usopp's attack. Golden Pump Usopp's special. Alright, Heracles, and you do your thing, sir. He'll heal up every couple turns. With this, I'll be able to bring everyone on the outside really low. It won't kill any of them, but it'll bring them down. Uh, if my Rayleigh were evolved, I could probably kill them. But I'll just bring them nice and low. And we'll spend a turn killing all the guys on the outside. And end on... Frankie? Oh no, we don't kill all the guys on the outside. There we go, we got two turns left. Uh, I'm gonna bring him low, take a hit, and then try to kill him. Nice and easy, easy peasy. We don't wanna push him under 20%, because remember under 20% he'll lock three of your characters. Uh, when he's enraged, oops, I'm sorry, not Frankie. When he's enraged, he will actually deal 7,500 uh, 7, damage if he hits you. So be quite careful of that one. And I'm just going to shuffle my orbs around, try to do a tiny bit of damage, not push him under 20%. And now we can take him out this turn. No no good orb on my Rayleigh, which is quite a shame, because when I use... I am going to use my Frankie boost. Try to take him out under that last 20%. And go like this. Boom. 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 Kablam. There you go. That's a 40 stamina Heracles and Island. Uh, remember, just like I did, we want to use Mr. 3 right at the start. After that, a uh, heal Enrage. You can Golden Pound Usopp after his Enrage uh, to stall an extra four turns. And then he'll Enrage again, to which you can use Corona to tank that Enrage attack. Anyways, I've been Zigigami. Good luck farming for stuff, and y'all stay beautiful. <laughs>